Hey everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We can see some different colored countries here. These are, not this, this is France. These are all basically Tangri independent little nations. The revolt against the Lords of the Sky worked. They're independent. We're going all in to fight the Holy Roman Empire. We need to figure this out a little better first, though. Uh, we are going to hire the Holy Order. Lords of the Sky, come help us. We're also going to look over here. Actually, you know what, you guys, I want you to march this way through. No, not like that, you dweebs. Like that. We're trying to draw all of the Mongol hordes, these are the Mongol armies, um, after us into the east. You can see there's 45,000, 5,000, 12,000. There's a hell of a lot of enemy troops. Another 25,000. Just huge. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to reorganize this. No, we don't want everybody going through at once. we got to be careful because of attrition. Attrition is going to be very difficult, and we're going to lose a lot of people due to it. So we're going to merge these guys. We're going to send you there. We're going to merge these guys. We're going to have you wait. Uh, we'll have you wait in the Zegrub. We'll have all these, well, maybe not all of them. These guys, you come down here. You join the Holy Warriors. We're going to lose so many people because of attrition. This could actually destroy our empire. But I feel like Radigan is like, we've got to do this. Because if we take all the land from the Pope, I don't know that he'll be able to declare any more Crusades. Ideally, he won't. And if he's not, that would be huge for us Tangri. And either way, it's revenge for what he's done. But he's got a huge army here. He's got almost 28,000 guys who apparently don't suffer any attrition for being in that territory, which is a little frustrating for us, as I don't think we can put 28,000 guys anywhere, even in our own territory, without that. I could not help but overhear the stable master and the courtier's animated discussion. Something about a horse in the payment due today. But the courtier insisted to pay the stable master later that week. Uh, Radigan's like, I should interfere and solve the argument. I settled the matter between Nagia and my stable master. I try to be as just as they can. They won't talk to each other, but whoever the hell this lady is, she likes us more. I think that's our concubine. Yeah. Um, the king of Georgia, our vassal, wants to hook up an incest marriage. No, 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 no incest marriage, bro. No cest marriage. All right, we need to figure this out more. Man, this is going to be a problem once we start going this far through enemy territory. There's going to be a hell of a lot of attrition. My prisoner needs to shut up. All right, here goes nothing. We're already suffering attrition there. Everybody go in. Y'all go in here. And we're just going to have to go in... And and deal with the attrition we're going to suffer. We're going to lose a lot of people. But if we want to take the papacy, it's not going to come easy. It is possible, too, that we lose to the Mongols because of this. But the truth is, if we lose to the Mongols, I think we lose either way. I don't think there's a lot we can do to stop them. Ooh, apparently the Mongols. Did you see that for a moment? There was the skull. They do take attrition, but not in our territory for some reason. But they do in other territory, like in, they're in the area of the Lords of the Sky. Probably the Lords of the Sky backing us up, not sharing their food with them. You can see the little skulls here by our guys. We're going to have a ton of guys due of, to attrition as we march through Italy. Nothing against you, Italy. We love you, bro. But we're going to go take on the Pope. Uh, we got to get these big armies up and hope they're still big armies by the time they get there. As well as these armies that we see are suffering attrition already. Man, you can see just tons of people are going to be dying. It's not even winter. What is going on here? I like the marching in that area and dying. That is most excellent. The more of the Mongol troops that are busy not sieging and dying. In real life, the Mongols were not great at sieging. My emperor, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population of Plizen is converted to the Tingri faith. That's great. I'll look at where that is. Never. 
I mean, I care, but we have more important things to deal with. <laughs> Alright, these guys will soon be here. We're going to merge this army. Once we get the 25,000 here, we're going to send them in. And then we got to hope we can win. They're going to break off a little army there. I'm not worried about that. Let's get all these guys up here. All this attrition really sucks balls. Uh, let's just... I hate doing this, having to pause and jump back and forth, but we want to make sure this little army here doesn't get destroyed. Because this army is super important. These areas here, because of the lines, mean... If you see this emblem in the middle, that there are buildings that are occupied, or capitals in this area, that are occupied by the Mongol Horde. If we can take them back, that'll hugely help us with the war score. So we want to be subtle to try and take them back. See, like these armies here, now they're trying to march back up to war. Keep them busy. Alright. Whoa. Jihad for Andalusia. The great Sunni Caliph, Aglab III, has decided... This little kid has decided to call jihad against the Kafirs in the kingdom of Andalusia. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved king, uh, Fiorello, of Italy for the glory of Islam. Interesting. For Andalusia? Are they trying to get part of Spain back? They are. They're trying to take most of Spain back for the Muslims. Long ago, the Muslims were driven out by Italy. Uh, that is very interesting. But we have more important problems. Uh, we're winning a battle here. We're going to take this main force. We are going to unite this force. We have very good leaders, and we are going to send them in. After that, we're going to send in a series of reinforcements. They will be there on the 10th. Victory! Merge these guys. When will you be in there? 16th, you guys. When will you be in there? We'll arrive in the 11th? The 10th? Oh, there's the army of the Doge there, too. I was like, what's the extra one? And you guys, we're going to just tell you to go straight on into Rome. It's going to be the giant gangbang of a lifetime. Ooh, I love seeing these guys here. Thank God the Lords of the Sky... Must be, like, harassing them, making sure they don't have food so they're dying of attrition. Are they the forebearers of the Cossacks? Suck my sack there, Mongols. Not really. That'd be weird. Alright. The battle is going to begin... Where are we looking at it? On August 10th, apparently. In five days. Six. The big battle to try and... Basically, hopefully, cripple the Catholic religion. It would not get rid of the Catholic religion. That isn't our goal at the least. But to cripple it once and for all. And the battle is on. We are the attackers on the top. We outnumber them. We do have better leaders. There's the Pope trying to lead an army. This is the biggest battle we've ever had. Come on, we gotta get more reinforcements, though. More reinforcements. We have to once and for all destroy the Pope. And then who are we going to put in charge of that area? I would hold it myself, but we'd be over the limit. I really don't want to. It's too bad we can't make ourselves Pope. That'd be hilarious. I'm the Tangry Pope. No, get angry. Get Tangry. That's kind of like, we workshop that. That's our thing. Yes, crush them all. Hopefully they don't lose too much of the retinue. These last guys are trying to show up. We are going to do it. We're going to win. We're going to defeat the army of the Pope. Big time. He had a huge army of two. Victory! We're already at 75% war score. We're going to merge the armies here as soon as we can. We're going to assault. The reason we're going to do that is we'd lose too many people for attrition if we just sit and wait. We have too many people there to support it properly. We are trying to re-siege this and take it back. That would help. Down to negative 9% war score. Making a little progress with the Mongols. Radigan is amazing, amazing emperor. Alright, come on. One more day. Assault this place. That was super fast. Boom! And as soon as we can, we're going to assault the next bishopric or whatever he owns. I know we're going to lose a fair amount of people doing that. But that is alright. You know why? Because we have won! 
But I was the Pope! You were a bunch of jerks! I Didn't you call Crusade? Either way, your predecessors did it if you didn't. I think he had at some point. Boom! Emperor Radigan the Wise has usurped the title Temple of Sutri from Pope Alexander IV. The Temple of Ostia. The County of Rome. The Carpathian claim on Rome war has ended. Emperor Radigan of Carpathia has won. Most excellent. This is super cool. <laughs> What's up now, Pope? He has the title the Papacy, which is the titular title, which means he touches his tits when he talks about it. It means he owns no land. And I don't think he can declare a crusade, like I said earlier, if he doesn't have land. Even if he can, whatever. We have just given the Catholic faith, nothing as Catholics in real life, but in the game, a giant black eye that we have taken their capital and will hopefully make it Tangri eventually. So we're going to give this to somebody because I do not want to run it. We're going to put Shaman in charge of this shit. It's going to be so cool. So let us find a character. My religion. My culture. Somebody who's a dick. Radoslav the Kid. Hey kid, you want to be the new Pope? It's not really going to be the Pope. But I will give this little kid Rome and all of the lower titles. Boom. How about that? Oh, why do I still have these? Alright, so we'll just give those to other people then. I made this little kid in charge. I love that. Alright, we are at our limit. We're going to tell all the troops we can to go home. And then we're going to split our retinue. Most of our retinue survived. We're going to tell half of them to get on the boats and go home. The other half we're going to have march back to our territory. We're still looking at the religious view. That is so cool! There will be new administration penalties for a while. This one little barony in this area is actually owned by Italy, but everything else is under our command now. And let's look at that. Oh, for some reason this guy is still Catholic. Whatever, he'll change. The important thing is the head of Rome is a Tangri kid. We put a shaman in charge of one of the churches. Bishoprics, we put a shaman in charge of another one. Hell yeah, that was a good war! I like that a hell of a lot. And now we gotta go focus on the east again. On the Mongols. We got a bunch of them in here. Some of them... I guess it depends where in the Lords of the Sky territory they are. Maybe this area here just doesn't support a lot of guys. Maybe that's it. What happened to our army here? Oh, shit! I sent all the armies home. I meant to just set the ones home in Rome. Talk about a dumb bonehead mood. Move. All right, Emperor. Well, you're not the Emperor. It's like, yeah, I want to be an Emperor. King of Kiva. I want you to send an army the long way around to start sieging these areas. If they bring everybody back, just tell the troops to run home. You're going to be like the Swamp Fox, dude. Swamp Fox, Swamp Fox, tail in his hat. Nobody knows where the Swamp Fox is at. He's like, I don't know anything about that. What was his name? Francis Marion? Alright, let us move these guys back home by ship. Which would you rather be a part of? I know which. Like, half the group gets to get sit on a ship, have a nice ship ride home. The other half have to march across the boot of Italy to get back. And apparently, for some reason, they can swim this? Or the, what do they do? Steal fishermen's boats? They can go across there? That is so cool. Carpathia. What's up now, Catholics? Hopefully some heresy sp um, spread and stand up. I would think the moral authority of the Catholic religion would be super low right now. I would hope the Tangri faith is super high. 96.1. I feel like it should be 100% there, but... Oh, I bet you were getting temples looted. But wait, that'd be by a people of our own religion. It'd be by the Mongols. Yes, yes, Mongols. Continue to have people die of attrition, moving them through poor places. Negative 7% war score because they don't have any of Germany. Oh, but they still have a huge army. <laughs> that is problematic, and this army continues to siege here. Uh, get your asses back there. We need to start sieging some stuff, taking it back. How many troops can we call up if we need to? 
Um, 66,000? That'd be enough to fight this unit, but not these guys. And I'm worried they might be... If it's realistic, and they're horse archers, in some ways they're technologically ahead of us. And that our armies are not made to counter that kind of technology. Unless we go hide in our uh, castles. Let us appoint a new commander. I'm just appointing whoever's best, because we... Are kind of a meritocracy there are no factions hell yeah i don't know if everybody's united because the mongols are fighting us why don't we find out a second let's randomly pick somebody what do you think about us you love us oh we get a plus 50 because we are defending against foreigners because the mongols have invaded look negative five percent the war score is turning in well it's still not in our favor but closer to our favor Come on, guys, march around. You can do it. If you can't do it, no one can. Uh, shit. Oh, that's Mongol up there, too. It'd be nice if we could get an army up there to retake that. But that's kind of problematic with all the guys they have there. Well, we gotta get the retinue home first, anyway. Once the retinue is home, we can get them set up to start looking at what we're going to do next. About trying to take care of the Mongols. I wonder if people are going to attack us to try and get Rome back. <laughs> that is awesome, though. We just totally got rid of the Pope's home. And like, hey, you like Crusades? I heard you like Crusades. We brought a Crusade to your house. He's like, what the fuck? Uh, we will tell these ships they can go home. Uh, retinue, why don't we get you guys all up here? This is, a, oh, so they can suffer attrition in our land, too. I guess they just have to be in an area that can't support that many troops. I was going to say, but 25,000 seems like a lot. Oh, well. The important thing is they are dying of attrition, and they can't get to Germany. Well, they could if they marched this far. But apparently they don't want to get that far from their supply line or whatever. I don't know. Uh, Queen of Lithuania, yes! Go attack those looters! The Queen of Lithuania... Oh, I'm a man! My mom was a mom! Oh, I was thinking of your mom. I don't look like a woman! Do I look like a woman? Kinda fat woman. That's not nice! The craftsmen that you funded a couple years ago have returned to tell you of their success. With your support, they were able to set up their business, and now it's one of the most profitable enterprises in Chernovo. Great! So we get 100 in taxes, and plus 10% city tax in Chernobyl because of the Artisan Workshop for like 10 years. So like right here, if I click on it better, you see right there, Artisan Workshop. That is awesome. Mo money. Uh, while we're at it, uh, Prince Bernadine is now of legal age. He is not the eldest son. Oh, if I knew he was... Oh, man, I forgot about him. I should have given him Rome. Oh, well. The King of Kiva's army is trying to sneakily get back here. Well, we lost here. Wait, where are these assholes going? They're going up to Turkestan? Are they going to go siege more? I think they might be trying to meet our army here and counter, come attack it. So we're going to wait a second and see where they go. Because they do outnumber us. Oh, I wish we could get a bigger army over there quicker. What if we raise the army of the King of Georgia? How do we get you over here? Now, if you march to the north, you're going to get caught. Go sit down. The best thing right now for us to defeat the enemy really is peasants, civilians, making sure they don't have money and that they are dying of attrition like that. Uh, you moving up to Turkmenistan? They're like, that's not our name. Our name's Turkestan. Well, you know, names. <laughs> They're like, Emperor, sometimes you're a pain in the butt. Uh, militarily, oh, we can improve the retinues. Why don't we get some more light infantry? 
We will have them join up there. I didn't send all the ships home. Oh, shit. We still have... All right, I lost more retinue than I realized. Some of that army there was the uh, Lords of the Sky guys. My nephew, Chief Bozadar, has asked me to spend quality time with him and Kim Tepkin. Sure. He's like, Uncle, you're so busy with wars. Why don't we hang out and fish. He's like, I love fishing. All right, we're going to march the other way. Let them chase us around. Run in circles like it's some like Bugs Bunny cartoon. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, Dion Dionysi, Bozadar, and I had a great time. Family out eating good times. Negative 5% score. It's still in the favor of the cons. But if you look, we still have all of Germany. If they took one part of Germany, they would almost instantly win the war. But as they don't want to, and I don't know why they declared war for Germany, and not something in the East they could take is beyond me. Though, honestly, there is a chance they could take Germany. <laughs> we are quickly trying to be... B? We're trying to rebuild the retinue. You can see we're spending 95.64 gold per turn. Oh, dear monies! Uh, yeah. And the reason I sent the Lords of the Sky home too is they are Tangri and they will not fight their Tangri brother. And the Khan, they are Khansmen, they're all reformed Tangri just like we are. 50,000 of their men there. The big problem there is these two armies stick too close together to reinforce each other. If we could only separate them, we would go after one of them. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. It's been a pretty interesting episode. We kick the crap out of the Pope. I don't even know where the hell the Pope is now. I tell you where he's not. In Rome, this little kid gets to hang out in the Vatican and sleep in the Pope's bed and wear the Pope's dresses. I mean, um, what he, robes. He gets to run around wearing Pope hats. He gets to live the good life. Not bad. We still got to figure out how to deal with this giant Mongol horde, though. I mean, he's still got... It is whittling down a little bit, but he's still got 86,000 troops. And we've had no success... Trying to assassinate his eldest son. No, nobody else wants to, despite the fact we've tried to bribe them all. Uh, why don't we educate our son, Prince Flash? In fact, we will do that ourselves. Alright, Jumpin' Jack. That's your nickname. Your dad will train you because you are pretty shitty at stuff. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all next time for more Crusader Kings 2.